so this is the snail i have this snail is very tiny this is a pest i found it on one of my plants and it is some outside right now so if i just let it go on its own it's probably going to die also i think i think this is a giant african land snail and those species are invasive in india they have already they, they have already done a lot of damage to the vegetation over here and i don't think it's a great idea to release uh, invasive species in the wild of course me keeping one in captivity won't just stop the invasion in any way it might just not even reduce the invasion in uh, it might just not make any significant change but i think it will make a small change because these guys lay 100 to 500 eggs every time and they lay eggs multiple times in a year so in the wild the uh, most of the babies will probably hatch and a lot there will be a lot more of snails but but by me keeping them in captivity i can control the population and hence i think this this will create a little change if not a lot so that is the reason why i will be keeping this guy in captivity also the video seems too big for a person to just be making a terrarium but but please do not skip anything because i have tried to give as much information possible i have told I have given reasons why you should use the things I am using and I have tried to give as much information possible. I have also speed some clips up. I have spared some clips up to 2x. So I recommend you to, uh, to change the speed to 2x or 1.5 rather than skipping because you might skip on some valuable information. Also my watch time will go down if you skip it. So I, I, I prefer that you just speed things up rather than skip. So the first thing required is obviously a container. Now this container is very small. I would say it's like 15 centimeter in diameter. But my snail is also very small. It is like very small. Uh, and I only have one snail. I could not find. Uh, I do have a feeling that this container will work for the snail. I think that if I keep the container in a larger container. The, con the snail would just get lost. And it would have a hard time finding food and water also uh, i have not f i tried finding a, a minimum requirement or a, a size requirement for a baby snail but i could not find any i could only find those for adult snail and a lot of keepers just keep a clutch of baby snails together in a bit larger container so if they so i think that this is going to work but i'm not 100% sure so if there is any experienced snail keeper out there you may it would be great if you let me know down if this con container is all right for the snail right now in the comment section down below but for now i am going to use this container because i have a feeling that this will be the optimum size the container that you use needs to have a lid now lid is required for two reasons the number one being so that your snail stays in the container it just does not escape the second reason and i think the more important one is that it traps humidity now snails require humidity humidity is crucial for snails uh, snails would die in a dry environment so uh, it's, you need something like a lid to trap the humidity in there uh, you that is also the reason why you can just you can't just cover this with a cloth because a cloth would allow all the humid humid air to escape so that is why a secure lid is required also i recommend that you have a lid that is transparent you either need a lid that is transparent or the original container now in this case the container is white so i have a transparent lid i say that you either need one need one to be transparent so that light could reach the snail and it could just know the day and night cycle which is which is i think important for the snail uh so one thing that you would need to do is either either make holes on the side of the container or on the or on the lid i have made holes on the lid while making holes on the side do not make it at the bottom because it would the water would just start leaking from the bottom your wherever you keep the container container maybe your furniture will, will get ruined also the humidity level will drop so if you are making holes on container make them over here on the top side or better yet just make them on the lid i have made them on lid you can see there are a lot of holes on this 
but be sure that you don't overdo with it you need sufficient holes so that your snail can have more than enough air to breathe and do its everyday things but not too many holes that allow humidity to just escape so this is the first requirement and and that is the container with a secure lid the second thing you require is soil now this is garden soil uh, you sometimes people use two clay of a soil i do not recommend using two clay of a soil if you have a clay soil you may just add cocoa peat uh, you adding a cocoa peat is a good idea because it holds moisture and it does not just form a, something too clay and it allows the snail to burrow these are the some other things that require now here i have rocks this is a piece of terracotta you need rock or terracotta or you can even use brick uh, now i have here two types of rock these are the normal ones that you find in the garden these are the these are smoother smoother ones you know this uh, these are the ones that are found in aquariums and used in aquariums these are more smooth these have a smooth texture these are just rough normal rocks now i'm going to use both of them so that the snail has some sort of texture you need some logs these are chips of wood this will rot so you may need to keep changing them so if you can invest in cork bark or just find cork bark it would be great because i've heard that cork bark does not rot easily and that is why it is used in terrariums but i'm going to use this for now you will also need a water, di water dish now this is a small cap that can be used as a water dish this is a terracotta lamp mm -hmm. that could be used as a water dish again and this is something that uh, that is great this is this is a piece of lego you, if you have a piece of lego it would be great to use as a water dish why because if you are using something like this snail, your snail just might drown so you, you have to put something some small rock like this so that your snail has something to hold on to same goes with this a small rock is required so if you use a lego you already have something for the snail to hold on to and it also holds water so this this works great you can use any of this as i told you need to put rocks in this too so that your snail does not drown but for the time being this is the smallest and as you know my snail is small so i'm going to use this for the time being so water dish rocks logs something else that you will require is cuttlebone or a, eggshell, a piece of eggshell right now in the lockdown i cannot find cuttlebone so i'm going to use a piece of eggshell i do not have it right here but i will be adding it in the in the enclosure uh, what you you might also need to add some hides but i will be using this so that they create height for the snails also if you are living in a cold country you might require all the heat set up with the heating element heating pad or a heating bulb then then you need a thermometer and a thermostat and all that but where i live there is no need for any heating element uh, the heating elements also come with a, a hygroscope that allows you to measure the humidity so if you are living in a colder country try to invest in that because that is crucial for for your snail because snail will die in dry and cold environment <laughs> another thing that you might require is a spray like this and a bottle of water now you may use oh. Now you may use dechlorinated water, but the place where I live, the chlorine in the water is very low, and my so my springtails and the snail has been living comfortably in that water. So I do not, I'm not adding any dechlorinator, but you might need to add dechlorinator if the chlorine is too much because snails are sensitive to water. Their skin is very sensitive. So the first thing that we will do is we will just add a lot of this soil into the container. I'm going to make a big mess so now I have added the soil you need to add enough soil so that your snail could bury itself completely they like to bury they will bury so you need to provide with enough soil that is also why I said that you should avoid clay soil because clay soil it might be hard for them to burrow in clay soil and uh, but but it does not really matter they are really hardy and that is why they are also very invasive I'm just going to spray this down a little. And I'm going to clean the soil. Okay. So now that we have filled this with soil, now we are going to add our rocks. So these are the rocks that we have. I might just add one of these smooth ones because the smooth ones are really big. So yes, that. So one of those. If I add this, maybe you can hide underneath. Okay, so that we will just add the rocks right now. Can okay, I add one of these bigger ones? I think this is enough. This is enough rocks. What do you think? Okay, maybe a smaller one over here. Maybe not. Okay, maybe this is smaller one. Okay, now this looks good. This, we have four rocks, one smooth one, and that just normal garden rocks. Now we will add our now we'll add the the wooden logs now you you may need to add a hide but what i'm going to do over here is that i'm going to make sure that this act as a hide as well so for these to act as a hide i'm just not going to place them like this uh, all the way straight down what i'm going to do is i'm going to sort of set them up in a, in an inclination so they have an angle over here so that this, this is the soil and I will be sort of keep attaching it like this so that the snail can crawl underneath over here so for that I'm, I'm just going to bury it a little bit I think I should remove this rock the smaller one might just, no we don't need more rocks that's alright so I just added it at an inclination and the snail can, it can go at the underneath and below the the snail can just hide underneath the log I'm just going to add one more of those maybe the smaller ones okay I'm just going to add it on top of it okay this looks good 
now we need to add our water dish I'm going to add it over here I guess yes just going to embed that into the soil okay so what do we need more we need to add the food or uh, we you might just add a food dish but i think it's unnecessary it's unnecessary you can just add the food over here so i will put the food somewhat in the center near the water dish so that it could just drink water and eat the food as well not sure if it needs that but still going to do that oh yes you can also add vegetation now vegetation is really important it gives a natural feel to the and to the terrarium and also the snail will enjoy it thoroughly so for the for giving it a natural feel you can e you can either put something like moss moss will work excellent moss is the most best thing that you can add in this terrarium it moss just like the snail thrives in humidity but right now i do not have any or any of the uh, but right now i do not have any any of any of but right now i do not have any moss but i do have this sweet potato and snails love to eat sweet potato and it is healthy for them so i'm and sweet potato grows from cuttings so i'm just going to grab a few cuttings i'm not going to grab this one i'm going to grab a few new cuttings and i'm just going to plant them right there okay so i will get the cuttings right now okay so i'm back with some cuttings of sweet potato and everything is done but for now we have these two cuttings water them plant them water them a little plant them these are potatoes are sweet potato are very hardy and i just put a few cuttings with no intent of planting them and they just grew so i'm pretty sure i, I have hopes in the cut potato cutting that they will grow okay so the terrarium looks good i might want to clean the sides of the terrarium because they do look a lot dirty okay yeah, i just get them down and all the dirt slip off the surface okay with that being done let us fill the water dish up okay the water dish is also filled and we have just everything completed we have the rocks we have the logs we have a hiding place we have a food place we have water dish we have some vegetation over here what do we need more oh yes we need eggshell or cuttle bone i will just get the eggshell right now okay so i'm here with the eggshell just going to clean it a bit again plant it somewhere i'm just going to put this i guess over here okay i'm just going to put it over here so this is this small place is the place it requires to eat and drink and just stay nourished over here he has everything that he needs so we will we might as well just add a little guy okay here is the snail you can see how small it is i'm just going to clean this up a little okay the best way if you are going to keep a snail in hand for long it's a good idea that you just place it on a leaf so that no chemicals from your hand uh, go uh, harm the snail and i'm just going to clean this again with the leaf a little okay so this is the snail this loves sweet potato and i'm just going to place this all right over here So our terrarium is done. We might as well just where is the lid? Okay, just close it, and it would be good to go. We might keep it in a window. Keep in mind that your window should not get way too hot, way too warm. The sun should not be direct, but keep it keep it in a place where it could experience the day and night cycle, but but not get just cooked overall. So yes, this is the terrarium that we made for the snake. Oh, 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 oh,